hi guys oh my god this is so so real this is so real i didn't think that i'll be doing such content on my channel guys as you can hear my voice i'm not feeling fine i'm not fine actually i have some kind of flu and and some cough reason being i tested positive for covid 19 guys today is the day i'm looking a little bit better on my face and and my health is not as bad like before today i look a little bit better and i try to do my hair to look cute for you guys for this video but before i wasn't looking this cute and nice my skin was so bad you know but today i decided i was kind of bored then i decided to make my hair so i have covid 19 guys but i'm not going to put up this video right now and i'll be waiting until i get fine until i test negative that's when this video will be up i wanted to let you guys know that covid is real covid 19 is real ugandans you know ugandans me name put two i'm sorry to say this na yeah but covid is real you have to be careful um where you move where you go to wear your masks sanitize practice social social distancing and whatever the government or the ministry of health tells you please do it because covid is real this is my story today is friday the 28th of may i caught covid last week on thursday i don't remember uh, you count from today because today is Friday 28th of May so I got COVID last week on Thursday I got it in the gym I realized that I, I got it in the gym guys on Thursday last week I went to the gym I left home fine I was okay I was healthy you know so I decided to go to the gym on reaching the gym I worked out that day I really worked out so so heavily like i work out so hard I at the gym there's always these uh, sprays sanitizers where before you work out you have to spray the machine if someone is from working out it is a man it is mandatory for clients to um to spray the machines before you start your workout so for me that day i think i forgot guys um um I'm a human being that we always forget so that day I forgot so I went to this treadmill and I didn't spray it the, the client was from using it I don't remember his face but he was a male client so after using it I just went and also started using the machine without spraying it and cleaning it or sanitizing it I just went straight away and used the machine guys so after that i worked out mm -hmm. after working out i was fine i i ran on a treadmill for 30 minutes i went to other machines i was not even i don't know what was in my mind that time but i wasn't sanitizing the machines i was using immediately that evening from the gym after my workout i always feel good feel you know coming back home when i know yes i've worked out but that day i felt i felt bad there was some kind of feeling i felt of course it was not normal i had a temperature my head was paining i was i was so fatigued i had fatigue so i was like ah oh, maybe maybe it's because of the workout i was i was doing because that time i really worked out hard maybe it's because i worked out really hard so i was like oh, okay so I got home, I had dinner, after dinner, uh, for me always after having dinner I sit and watch TV but that time the morale for TV wasn't there. So I decided to go shower, after showering I went to sleep immediately. 
so that night i was not feeling good also and my breathing was bad i couldn't breathe very well so i decided to do um I, de I decided to sleep on the floor i went from the bed imagine guys from the bed because i sleep with my husband and my my kid this time i was sleeping with my young baby yeah so i left them on the bed because my baby was sleeping on his bed alone so i left my husband on the bed and i slept on the tiles guys imagine the tiles as cold as the tiles could be at night i wasn't feeling anything like the tiles were cold but for me that's why i wanted to do what that's why i wanted to uh, to lie so i lay there for about two hours after my husband phoned me down because i wasn't breathing well so he decided to put me back on the bed i decided to go on the bed he told me to go lie on the bed and that is what i did so in the morning it was a friday i wasn't that feeling good so long story sh short i decided to go to the hospital in the morning so when i went to the hospital uh, they took a blood sample from me and it, when the results came out the doctors were like you have a bacterial infection so they had to give me some medicine antibiotics so i took the antibiotics that day on friday my condition wasn't improving i wasn't improving i was i was having some temperature i was like now what kind of medication did they give me so that on sunday on saturday it was i had to go for some wedding it's it's not actually a wedding but it's a kuchala ugandans do where you introduce your husband to to the family members it was a kind of kuchala so my niece was bringing her husband home so i was on saturday i decided to go there and the good thing that time i didn't contact with people i wasn't around people too much so i was in the bedroom with the mugole i was in the bedroom with her we enjoyed the kuchala took some pictures i didn't know that i had covid me what i knew was i had a bacterial infection because that was that's what the doctor told me so coming sunday we bought food on sunday because on sunday we know we don't always cook at home we eat out so that time we bought food from Javas. after bringing food at home all every day before i i caught this covid thing when we bring food at home from you know how um uh, outside food smells restaurants food smell you when you bring it in the house so that time it was a sunday i couldn't smell food i couldn't smell anything that's when i realized that i lost my sense of smell and i lost my sense of taste i couldn't smell food i couldn't taste it i was eating food but it was i was it was like i was just eating something tasteless something like water i couldn't smell anything then i was like yo this is real this should be this are, this should be one of the sign like of covid so i decided to tell my husband to we so that we can go to the hospital to the lab to test for covid so my husband was like okay let's go when we went we took tests so on coming back my results came back in the morning on monday and i was positive i was positive guys i freaked out i was like what am i going to do guys oh my god i freaked out i felt so bad i felt bad for the people i was with so what i did is i called the people i was with at the function at the kuchala I called them and, and I let them know that I was tested for COVID so that they can, you know, they can also either test or they can take, start taking their vitamins. So, yeah. So, that's when I called them. That's when I started, um, when the results came, that's when I started put, um, putting on my mask at home because I knew I was infected with the virus. 
so what we decided to do with my husband i took my kids all my kids to my mom my mom's place that's where they are staying actually at the moment we give them we gave them some vitamin c so i'm here social distancing the good thing my kids are not around we are at home with my husband and a little bit of workers i'm not moving around the house i'm just in this room in the house in one place today is day five since i last got the result since i last got the positive results I'm feeling good i'm feeling better better than before only that i still have I still have nose congestion as you can hear the way I'm talking. Let me show you what I've been taking. This have been so helpful to me. I've been taking this vitamin C plus zinc. It has been helping me too much. I take one tablet per day. It has been helping me. To boost my immunity system and the next video guys will be uh will be i'll be showing you what i've been how i've been coping through this situation the uh, covid 19 situation i'll be showing you what the organic things the home remed remedies i've been doing and yeah it will be um a kind of log thingy guys i want to let you know like this thing is real and in uganda now yesterday i saw news we are in the second wave of covid 19. we are in the second wave so guys be careful with your family friends kids be careful with where you move yesterday i was watching news and the way ugandans were commenting was really really sad it was really really so bad they're thinking like people are lying but covid 19 is real guys it is real be very very careful enough being said see you guys in the next